Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pasty of Skin. Today we are checking out Muddy Zombies. We're checking that out from End Dreams. Uh, they provided the code for this for me to check it out. Was not on my radar until I saw it being advertised um, on other news channels. I was like, I gotta check this out. I mean, it looks like a scrolling beat em up, and scrolling beat em ups are always, always, always my friend. I can't, I can't resist them. I absolutely love them. Um, I would play Brolin Beat'em Ups till morning, noon, and night. This is a VR game? Right. I did. I was looking at it going like, how is this a VR game? Because it's actually, it looks like it's a 2D fighter. Right, I'm going to need to go that up. Because um, I had no intention of actually putting on VR today. <laughs> Where I need to actually grab it and bring it around. Um, where there is headset. Don't knock over other things. Let's sit there next to it. Don't make a messy mess, because you will kill all of it. Hey, you're actually messed up. Better hurry yourself up. Whoa. Anyway, <laughs> here is now set. This is a matter of making sure I actually have all my stuff moved out of the way here and cables untangled so I don't accidentally launch it off the cable whenever I turn it around. So, yeah, that's all good. Yep, got plenty of slack. Happy days. So I'm not going to do full 3D audio for this because what's the point? <laughs> uh, like I'll get the 3D audio, but then I will probably get myself a little bit lost in it. So no big scary jump scares for me. Uh, although admittedly, I'm really tempted to go back to Theseus and do that because it was a good fun time. Um, know where everything is? Are we all good? Yep. Yeah. Now I can get into the headset. Oh damn. One of the things where you don't wear it that often, you kind of like stop finding your comfort spot with it. You kind of realize that ah, you can actually get to the point where you're, you're not used to wearing VR anymore. Okay, that works for me. Ah. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's the one time I always like doing VR because it allows you guys to actually see what my studio is like for a short period. Oh, ah, whoa. There we go. My center view. Ugh, I hate looking into this whenever it's completely darkness. It does like disorientate your vision. A very discomfort, a really discomforting kind of situation. I hate looking into it. Uh, come on, load up. Oh, okay. There we go. Cool. Okay. I'm on board with this. Oh, awesome. So, I mean, it's not massively elaborate, but I, li I like the kind of cartoony look to it. It's kind of cool to be able to do this. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is actually, I'm on board with this. This is goddamn cool. All right, I need to get myself a little bit more select. I'm going to be moving myself around a lot in this one. Okay. So, uh, extra start. Oh, there's online play? <laughs> All right, we need to come back and check this out. I'm really fucking. This is aw This actually looks really awesome. So, oh, oh, this, this, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ow. My head through a beat. Okay. Um, audio. Controls. Uh, pause. Simplify skills. <laughs> Dodge. Throw. Quick skill. Secondary attack. Interact. Jump. Primary. So two attacks, a jump, and movement. That's pretty much all we needed. And audio. Well, I think we're good levels wise. Oh, retro mute. Oh, cool. I can barely hear it because of the way I'm broadcasting, so um, I may have to actually take a listen or look at that later on. But. <sighs> four player as well. Oh man, this is kind of cool. I'm actually liking this because it is four player. So, create new. Eddie, Nick, Ray, and Teller. You're guaranteed that I'm going to be playing as Ray for fuck's sake. Like, you put one chick in the actual character roster, I'm going to play as her. So, give me Blaze, give me Glory, give me Ray. <laughs> Everybody said normal? Yes. Uh, let's be ready to select. Uh, sh should we play the tutorial, folks? I can't hear you, so um, <laughs> I don't know whether or not we should. Screw it. Skip the tutorial. Welcome to London, 
once the pride of Britain. And now, a city entirely overrun with the undead. Fortunately, I actually really like this kind of cutout design, and the fact that they're keeping everything moving a little bit, can apply motion even though it is still images, I'm actually pretty cool with that. Britain. With a year passing since the outbreak By Kurodo, the, city, the company, the creatures the behind Gyver, were dead. Who the hell are you lots? There I was, thinking I had London to myself. You ha. and me both. What's going on? I don't know. We're trying to survive! We could have survived that crash. This is General Ames of Homeland Defense. We've been monitoring you through CCTV for quite some time. With your help and your unique talents, we can finally take back our city. There are four GPS trackers on board. Hopefully, there are. <laughs> I guess GPS trackers are headsets. They will lead you to five key cards last held by our highest ranking Kronos scientists. Retrieve the key cards and you'll be able to access our lab. And together, we'll put an end to this madness. Oi, oi. Worth a shot. Sounds like a laugh. I'm in. But the moment one of you starts to turn, I'm taking you out. You serious, Fine. dude? But if you slow me down, I'm leaving you behind. Hey, she wants to be speedy, so I like to be speedy. Let's be speedy together, girl. And with this darkness, never a fan because it actually it does disorientate. It actually this is the bit that actually makes me feel the nauseous. Never I'm using a VR headset. Um, really should kind of like at least go with something that's actually a tracking pattern that moves. You know, like. A, if you, I've always had this idea that you end up using an image that is actually slowly moving away from you, so you have a point of focus to work with. It'd be a better idea than just sitting there in the darkness because it makes me feel uncomfortable. This GPS as hell. tracker seems okay. to be pointing the cool. way. So, huh? Nice. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. I actually like the fact that it's kind of like you can see the depth of the field. Yeah, cool, man. Here. <laughs> oh, there's actually something really cool about this. I need to get in. I'm getting in on this. All right. One for the connection. Boom! Crowd kick the face. You'll come in handy. One for the connection. Play is actually fairly simple, but it's kind of cool to actually be able to get in really into the actual combat. You can actually like really look into it. Alright, it's got a little bit blurrier the actual further you go in though. Cool. Long fight. You'll come in handy. Ah! First hit! So I said I'm just going to keep running. Oh, can't move any further. Two zombies, one strike. Hell yeah! Variety is the spice of life. Fifty. Ah, oh, nice guitar slam. <laughs> Nice. Two 
zombies. Sun got in my eyes. Not going places, darling. One for the collection. That's a bit better. Ah! Get that out of my way. That lamppost out of my way. I just realized, like, I'm dodging out of an imaginary lamppost. Boom! Boom! Bounce them in the air. You'll come in handy. Fifty. Two zombies, one strike. Hell yeah! Look them in the air. Boom, boom. Ah. Ah. Oh, nice. Boom. That's what I wanted. Cinematic. Oh my, quite right, the conspicuous lever. Uh, can I not touch this? Oh, there we go. Lost it. Ah, still the same color. All ah, right. Boom! Fuck you! <laughs> Just trying to knock them out of there. Yeah, that's funny. Them dead. One for the collection. Pretty. Oh, I like the fact that I got a birdie from my head. Amaze. Oh, great. Well, this just got serious. Fuck you! Ow. You'll come in handy. Ah! Ow. Alright, this isn't good. I need to get some help. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't get to that box. Alright, running back, running back, running back. How far can I go back? Come on, you prick. Come with me. Ah, you fuck. Oh, why did I do that? I'm low in energy. I don't have enough energy to do the special moves. That's not good. Oh, the money's not going to help me much. Oh, that's not good. All right, screw this. Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of energy. I need to get out of the way. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm just in the right spot. Ah, <laughs> no. Dazed him enough. Oh, you can change the skills. Oh, that makes sense. No, it makes sense. <laughs> I'm pointing at the screen on my face. As if that's actually what you guys are looking at. This is fucking cool, man. I am uh, really on board with this. Um, the school and beat him up, I'm actually having fun. And with it as a VR game, I'm actually being much more physically interactive with the game than I normally would be You'll for something of this handy. type.
Nice. I'm liking the combos. I'm liking this. Is there, oh, there's actually something. I can go up there. Hang on. Let's see if we can get up in this platform. A little bit of 3D jumping. Oh, that's actually kind of cool to be able to look up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you steal my chicken? You'll come in handy. Back here, buddy. I wanted to have a different throw than that. Oh, I, I can't get over the, uh, the actual being able to look behind your opponent or like looking behind your player. You come in handy. There's a nice, there's just a really nice feeling about it. What a! This kind of shit jumping up here. Going up, going up. I think I found something oh, secret spots, man! Ah! Oh, it actually is the same level as well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I am on board with this. I could jump down from here, I imagine. See, I'm looking to see could I actually make it. Oh, dude! The little on the nice sitting over there in the background. I haven't even looked around me at any other point in this game. Yeah. The end dreams, this is a good ass game, man. Boom, there you go. Shit, so much. Looks like another lever. This better not be a trap. London Bridge looking awesome. Ah. Oh shit! <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> Do not fucking get in my way, zombies, man! Jesus Christ, fuck off! <laughs> that was worth it. So fucking worth it. <laughs> Fuck off, zombies. <laughs> awesome. Who the hell set that up? That is cool. Yeah, you know. Oh no, let me go back! Let me go back! Look at how much stuff is there! Motherfuckers! you come in handy, one for the connection. I'm really enjoying this game way too much. I, I, I it caught me completely off guard. I had heard about it. I honestly thought it wasn't a, a VR experience. It was just a like a song that you actually just use VR and you could add on to it, but it just really does add to the immersion to it, being as part of this. Variety is the spice of life. Oh! Oh, you motherfucker. Come here. Ah, you son of a bitch. You'll come in handy. 
right one for the connection. Oh no! Fuck you! Oh my bird! You sons of bitches! Ah, god damn it! Come here. Nice people can fuck off. He reminds me a while out of the stabby dudes from um, Final Fight because of that, like the jaggy guys that run into you. <sighs> that was disappointing. So disappointing. Double tap, run, and jump kicks are actually probably going to be the most effective thing in the entire goddamn game. I may have underestimated. Especially for uh, comboing people into there. What the? <gasps> One for the connection. <sighs> like, I'm completely losing track of how long I've actually been inside this game. Oh. Come in handy. Thank you, zombies. One strike. Hell yeah. Uh. One for the collection. I might have made it just a little bit further. Oh, wait. Put that in the sword. <laughs> you Pay attention to where I'm on. Alright. Fucking cool. I want to do. I'm gonna do one last boss before I actually go in. Right, fuck he. Oh, the sword broke us in the head. Up. Ow. Ow. Okay, that's not good. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to brute force him. Boom! Oh, Gibbs everywhere. <laughs> Bonus points for everything. No idea what this cash is used for, so I'll probably imagine you'll find out in the second level, maybe. Because this is kind of still really the one place. But look at this shit. It's awesome. I'm pointing over at it. Over there. At that stuff. Yeah. This is actually... This is a really cool way to use VR. This is awesome. The omniscient pers perspective is someone that's actually really underutilized. Things like Wayward Sky use it very well. Uh, where you're actually like... You're looking worldview and then you can like god mode down into things. But being able to do it like this where you're still... Full interaction and full control and you know what your pain is movement is so your movement is only your eye line it's like just living inside an arcade machine ah uh, yeah that's cool that is really really goddamn cool <sighs> they, they, i can't really i'm sorry i'm not being interactive with the chat there while you guys are probably chatting while i'm recording this but this is amazing Oh, this is the intro. Ah, uh, damn it. I didn't mean to put that on again. Can I skip it? Probably gonna take a wee while for it to boot up, isn't it? Waiting here in the dark, waiting for a cool game to play. Oh, you know, shit, this is actually the tutorial. <laughs> That's awesome. The tutorial is actually still pretty badass in even itself. Gives you the basic combat patterns. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna force me to actually play through, through it all, though. Um, put the main menu. That was, that, was, that was really, really goddamn cool. I'm really gonna try that game out. Oh, man. Oh, that's going up on the shelf. Uh, behind me. Bloody zombies, guys. Bloody fucking zombies. That was really, really enjoyable. I actually enjoyed it. I got give me a massive proper kick in the ass going like, VR can be really, really good. Whenever you take someone that's an old game type and use it in a, an interesting way. Be, characters being two-dimensional flat sheets makes it a lot easier to be able to read what the char character's playing of the positioning is. But I wouldn't mind seeing that done with a 3D fighter in its own way. Tech and Force with VR. Yeah, man, that kind of thing would be awesome. But uh, Bloody Zombies as well, we're checking out. Uh, Bloody Zombies by End Dreams. Go and get it if you're on VR. 
That is probably one of the best VR experiences I've actually had, and it's a weird, weirdly because it's a, such a simple game, and uh, it's 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 a PlayStation VR game that's four player. I'm assuming one person gets to be the VR player, and then everybody else has to play with their their point of view for the map. That'd be kind of weird to do. So you actually literally have one person who's actually playing the game as player one. There's two, three, and four have to try and remain within their eye line correctly as they're looking around the map or online. That'd be, oh man. This would be so much fun to play online because you have a completely different perspective from each player. This is a game to play online, have all four people record their VR experiences, and then um, play it and take the content and cut that together for like cinematic angles. So you have somebody actually like sitting down, looking down the side of somebody's falling off a combo, looking overhead, and you can actually cut to it like movie wise. Yeah, ah, oh, that's giving me so many fun ideas to play with this game. Uh, to the guys at End Dream, thank you very much for the code for that because I wouldn't have, I honestly wouldn't have picked up bloody zombies of my own accord because. Zombie game, I'd never really thought about it, but uh, as a 2D brawler, I definitely enjoying the hell out of it. And with the 3D, uh, the, the VR element of it, it's really, really enjoyable. Uh, if you get your hands on it and get an opportunity to play it, I really, really recommend it. So, guys, if you enjoyed watching me chat about bloody zombies for the last, I don't know how long, how long have I been in there? About 20, 30 minutes? Um, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up in the corner, uh, or hit the follow button, or the like button, or whatever it is, mattering on where it is if you're watching this broadcast. Or uh, if you're enjoying this on YouTube, you can actually be able to just subscribe and hit the notification button, the little bell. The little bell is kind of an important one for that because then you know when every time I upload. And if you can't do any of that and you don't want to do any of that, as some people don't want to do, just make sure to hit Pastiche of Skin up at some point in time. Search for it. It's easy to find. I'm on nearly everything under the same name. So you can easily find me. Look it up. I'm not trying to hide in any shape or form. You can check out the show. And last thing to remember, anything else? Yes. Oh, yes. If you're watching this on YouTube, Pop up in the corner, there will be a box that I hope you will enjoy clicking and donating and keeping this channel going. Right here will be a box for most recent playlists, uh, probably going to be the PSVR playlist for this. Over in the far corner will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. It will pick something out of the stuff that I've done that you will enjoy. So I recommend you check that one out immediately because it's going to be something that you will like. Uh, it's guaranteed to be something you like because you've already looked for it before in some way, shape or form. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.